The plan's not working. See, even Suella knows. The plan's not working for the Conservative Party. They were annihilated in the local council elections. They lost many of the mayoralties as well. They were clinging on to Andy Street and hoping he would win, but Labour sneaked to victory. They are losing across the country. The plan is obviously not working and they need to call an election. Suella Braverman has come out this morning, uh, all guns blazing. And I despair at these terrible results. There's no spinning these results. There's no disguising the fact that these have been terrible election results for the Conservatives. And they uh, suggest that we are heading to a Labour government. And that fills me with horror. I... So we can obviously see that if you want to give Suella Braverman some horror, vote Labour in the next general election. But uh, to be honest with you, Suella, it's been 14 years of destruction and 14 years of demise and instability that your party has given the country. You have to expect this was going to happen. And going further to the right is not going to solve it either. I love my country, I care about my party, and I want us to win. And I'm urging the Prime Minister to change course, to, with humility, reflect on what the voters are telling us, and, a, and, and change the plan and the way that he's communicating and leading us. I don't think changing the plan or even changing the leader will make any difference. People are fed up of 14 years of Conservative Party policy and Conservative Party running the country. We want a different, we want a different country and we want a different way now. So we need to choose a different party and a different management to lead this country onto better things. I don't think changing the plan or changing the leader will really do anything. I think it will just make it worse. I, I, I just don't think that's a feasible prospect right now. We don't have enough time and it's impossible for anyone new to come and change our fortunes, to be honest. There's no superman or superwoman out there who can do it. Rishi Sunak has been leading us for about 18 months. He's been making these decisions. These are the consequences of those decisions. He needs to own this and therefore he needs to fix it. She was asked about changing the leader and we've just seen her response. She also agrees that maybe changing the leader is not a sensible option, it's a bit too late. There's no superman or superwoman. I think the Conservative Party needs something more than superman or superwoman really to save them. So just like she said in a Telegraph article as well today, the Rishi got them into this trouble and he has to try to dig them out, has to start shoveling, I think was the quote. They're in deep trouble and I don't think Rishi Sunak is going to change course or do anything. He's too weak to do anything. It's only going to make him worse. And actually, I think the Conservatives should actually go back to the centre. That might actually help them a little bit, not going further to the right where you wish them to go. For the people, we're not delivering the policies that people want. And it's a disgrace that we are trailing up against Labour, led by Keir Starmer, who has the charisma of a peanut. Yes, I agree, Keir Starmer's not very charismatic and probably yeah, has the charisma of a peanut. Maybe I can agree on that. But it just shows how much trouble the Conservative Party put the country in and how much people want to have a change. And also, what about Rishi Sunak's charisma? I mean, he has none as well. Every time he talks, he looks like he's trying to um, talk down to people. People don't like him because he's a rich billionaire or he has a billionaire wife. He doesn't really get what people feel. So I don't think he's gonna win the election based on that either. If, you've, if you're putting all your trust in Rishi Sunak, then sorry, but uh, it's not gonna happen. Who is overseeing a party which is a rabble of hard left maniacs who would undo Brexit, who would open our borders, and who would indoctrinate our institutions and our schools with politically correct madness. But given all and there we have it, Suella Braverman's going down her right wing nutter route talking a load of uh, rubbish and craziness. I don't think Kit Starmer is a hard left nutter or anything. I think some people on the left of the later Labour Party would like him to be more left. Actually, I would argue that Keir Starmer has taken Labour more to the right and into the centre ground rather than being anywhere near the left. So she's just using a load of rubbish, really. Um, and if you believe what she's saying, then I'm sorry, but you're wrong. The change is trailing to the degree that we are given, against this Labour Party. But given all the turmoil... Well, actually, you should. If anyone's looked at the last 14 years, over the course of the last 14 years, and what the Conservative Party have taken the country down, then they should be trailing to the Labour Party. I would argue that the Labour Party should probably be even further ahead. 
Let's see what she thinks about Rishi Sunak and her decision to put trust in Rishi Sunak when he went for the leadership election. Yes, I do, because I had assurances from Rishi Sunak that he was going to put a cap on legal migration, that he was going to do something about the European Convention on Human Rights, that he was going to fix this uh, transgender ideology in our schools. He hasn't done that. I, you know, I want our party to win. I want us to beat this feeble Labour Party and I want... Have you seen how many councillors Labour has now compared to the Conservatives and how many mayors now are Labour compared to the Conservatives? I wouldn't say the Labour Party are feeble. I would say the Labour Party are on the up. Maybe they could be doing a lot better, but they're not feeble. I'm sorry about that, Suella Braverman. You've just got to face facts. The last 14 years have been rubbish and it's because of your party. Just because you regret putting your trust in Rishi Sunak doesn't mean now that you can suddenly change your tact and expect people to vote Conservative. They're not going to. To save our country from Keir Starmer, I'm not going to give up. I'm still going to fight, even if it makes me unpopular. I'm going to speak the truth because that's what the 400 councillors who we lost this week deserve. That's what the authorities that we lost this week deserve. We are not going to fix this problem unless we're honest about it and we change course in reflection with some humility to what the voters are telling us. OK. I think the voters are telling you to fuck off. That's what they're telling you. They're telling you that and also to the Conservative Party as well. It's time that we made a change and had a change in government. That's what we want. And do you notice that she pretty much sounds like Lee Anderson? Maybe she should go and join the Reform Party. I think that's probably a better place for her. But anyway, Suella Braverman, I think the best thing you can do is just hope that you can cling on to your seat at the next general election.